Hey everyone, welcome, it's Ricky Racer here. Um, I'm just doing another video on how to install mods as I have actually asked, a f been asked a few questions. Maybe I didn't explain it quite well enough, um, but we'll go through it anyway. So I am here on a mud hub, mud, uh, mod hub, sorry. And as you can see, there are a lot of different mods that you can get. Now these mods here are all by Giant Software so you know they are going to work with the game you probably should not get any conflicts these are actually all prefabs so if you're making your own maps there's a heap of prefab stuff there so on the very first page we have the big bud 747 at the moment so and we also have the 450 so if we want we click on the 747 we have the download here so we hit the download it will actually come up with open with or save. You want to save the file so that it comes up into the corner here, up into the right hand corner and displays the progress of ongoing downloads. So we want that big bud 747 and also we will look at getting the big bud 450 just so I can show you. So you download that one as well. Save file once more. It will come up here into the download files. Now, once they're downloaded, show all downloads. That way, all your downloads will come up for um, what you need. Then you want to close off your windows. You want to bring up your Steam when it decides to. Oh, let's... Go into your Steam library and go to your farming simulator 19 as you can see there you've got the farming simulator 19 you want to right click farming simulator 19 go to properties go to local files tab go to a browse local files then you'll have this pdlc so open the pdlc and then you will grab these and come across and as you can see i've already got them and that will go into there so pretty much just drop them in they'll be here in this pdlc list as you can see i do have a lot more but the big buds there they are in the folder so you can actually shut that folder down now close this one off and you okay so here we are we're in the game again i am actually on the felsbrunn's map um we'll go to the vehicle shop now those big buds were large tractors so you'll need to go to the large tractor tab and scroll all the way to the end and as you can see the big bud 450 and the big bud of 747 are both in there they also have mod written under their names there so if we click on the big bud 450 as you can see it's there great model all 3d really good uh, your wheel set up you can go wide tires or you can go twin tires or standards so they are the three variations for this little fella so we'll keep that as a standard we'll buy that one and we'll go back and we'll go to the 747 so there is the big bud 747 you can zoom in zoom out and have a bit of a look it's really well detailed these are actual tractors in the United States. Um, and this one here can have the twin wheels, triple wheels, or standard wheels. I mean, it looks a bit funny with the little standard single wheels on it, but those triple wheels are just massive. So we'll keep it with the twin wheels. We'll buy that. And that's it. So yeah, we'll go back out of that and we'll have a look okay so here we are we've got the two big buds outside the workshop here or outside the store i should say so they have been added into the game the mod folder works fine and as you can see the vehicles are great i like to sort of go with um the giants mods only because you know they are going to work with the game properly 
but it's up to you there are plenty of mod sites out there all you have to do is do a bit of a google search on farming simulator 19 mods there will be a few different websites that come up uh, a couple off the top of my head is mod hub and farming simulator 19.com so go and check those out i will leave a link in the description for a couple of different mod sites but realistically type in farming simulator 19 into a google search will f um with the mods will actually produce many many pages that you'll be able to find uh, mods on so i hope that answers everyone's questions on how to actually mod um, and hopefully it elaborated a little bit more for those people that were still having a few problems but anyway until next time i'll talk to you all later bye